You're watching Transfiguration Today, your source for news from our church community. Hi there, and welcome to Transfiguration Today. I'm Dan Blankowski. Thanks for clicking on us. It's been over a year in the making, and anything that's been planned for that long has to be huge. Transfiguration, it is time to awaken. Mission Possible, Living Reality Faith is the theme for The Awakening, and it is an epic event unlike anything Transfiguration has ever seen. This event for the entire parish is an opportunity for all of us to connect with our parish family, grow in our relationship with God, and awaken our faith. It is so big, in fact, no organizations or groups will be meeting during The Awakening except for these support groups. Yes, it is a very big deal, and we want you to be there. Everything kicks off on Sunday, January 27th, with Feeding the 5,000, one of the most ambitious service projects we've ever undertaken. The goal? Feed 5,000 people in our area. We're collecting canned goods for St. Vincent de Paul, bread and meat to make sandwiches for St. Vincent de Paul, must ministries, and stand up for kids. Everyone is going to receive a fish attached to the bulletin the weekend of January 19 and 20. Please bring in the item listed on your fish. We also need your help on the afternoon of the 27th to help sort food, make sandwiches, and deliver any food where necessary. The work will be done in Bishop Hall from 3 to 5.30 p.m. This is a huge undertaking. We're gonna need as many hands on deck as possible. Remember, this is a parish-wide project, so we're gonna need parish-wide participation. Then the evening of Sunday, January 27th, the program begins music, multimedia, breakout sessions for kids, and for the rest of us, Mike Potan, our featured speaker, highlights the evening presentation, Amazing Grace. What is God's grace? How do we live with it? Monday, January 28th, starts with Awakening to Prayer. This daytime session from 10 till noon offers experiences in different forms of prayer, from music to scripture to art and more, we encourage everyone to take advantage of these opportunities to expand your prayer life. Monday evening starts with a light dinner in Bishop Hall, then the main program led by Mike, the theme Extreme Makeover. It's all about the reality of faith in our daily family lives. The agenda for Tuesday starts with Awakening to Catholicism. These are workshops on the practical daily applications and the knowledge of our faith. Topics like what we believe, how do I answer that, and many more are being covered. At noon, we'll be having open mic. It's an open forum question and answer session with our featured speaker. More food that evening as we offer a light dinner before the evening program. Tuesday's theme, The Apprentice, covers our call to serve. Wednesday's daytime session is Awakening to Justice. These workshops address some issues of justice in our world today as we look to raise awareness and begin to think in a practical sense, what can I do? Wednesday night starts once again with a dinner before the evening program. This night, the whole family will be together as we talk about the voice. How do we know God's voice? What do we do with our own voice, taking this experience of the awakening back out into our world? It's a lot to take in because there's a whole lot happening. If you have a family, this is for you. If you've been kind of distant from your faith and your church lately, this is for you. If you're retired, this is for you. If you're single, this is for you. If you're ready for a real spiritual adventure, this is for you. If anything I've already said doesn't apply to you, this is still for you. Don't miss out on this opportunity to invigorate your soul. For more information and to see a sample of Mike Potan speaking, check out the special awakening section of our website, transfiguration.com slash awakening. This is going to be epic. Hey there. Uh, no, I don't have any dreams of being the pastor at Transfiguration, even though this is a real nice chair. I do like the view from here, except the only problem is the church is empty. And in one sense, that's a real quiet place. But boy, I'd love to see the energy when this place is full. We're going to talk about real life and connecting it to what happens here in this church, empty or full. And love for you to be there and join us for 
the Parish Awakening, which will be titled Mission Possible. And that's gonna take place January 27th through 30th in 2013. And I know that if things go well, this place will be packed. So you might wanna come early and get yourself a reserved seat. We asked some of our youngest parishioners for their take on awakening, and here's what they had to say. We're making a movie about awakening. Awakening? What do you think awakening means? Mm, I don't know. Awakening means when Jesus came. I have no idea. <laughs> um, getting up. Um, awakening means like you're awake. You're getting awakened by God for the first time. Wow. wow. And how do you know when you woke up? Um, when your eyes open. Show me what that looks like. Like that? Yeah. <laughs> That's very good. Okay. Show me your face when you're awake. Show me your face when you're not awake. Would you rather be awake or asleep? Awake. Would you rather be awake or asleep? Uh, I'll be awake. Would you like to be awakened or are you already awakened? I would like to be awakened. And how do you feel when you're awakened? Tired. Mm. When I'm awake, I look like I'm happy. Good. What's the very first thing you do when you wake up? Help my dad fix his car. The first thing you do when you wake up and you get out of bed is you fix a car? Yes. Do you eat breakfast? Yes. Do you stretch? Yes. Do you brush your teeth? Yes. Comb your hair? Oh my. Yes. Clean your ears? Oh my, no! The awakening is coming. Happy awakening! Everybody here at Transfiguration is very excited to welcome Aaron West to our staff as our new youth minister. Aaron is a graduate of Georgia Tech with a degree in architecture, but more importantly to us, an alum of the Christ Teen program. She answered the call to serve in youth ministry for us for the next several months as she also works on finishing her master's degree. Erin not only has experience in our program as a participant, but she's been a retreat coordinator for several years. She's worked on staff with Catholic Heart Work Camp and has served as a chaperone on our own mission trips. We caught up with Erin to get her take on staying so connected with Christ Teen. I like staying involved because I knew that when I was in youth ministry, I had a lot of adults and young people that kind of came in and I liked seeing the older college kids come back and um, it meant a lot for me just to give back and kind of kept me in check especially around finals week and all that so it was nice to be able to come back and help with a ninth grade retreat and a few other mentoring programs and things like that. I, it took a lot of prayer uh, when I heard that there might be an opening and I tried to negotiate with God for a while <laughs> but God's really not into negotiating um, and so I said, okay, God, if you really want me to do this, then you can make it happen. And it all came together, and here I am. <laughs> Welcome to the staff, Aaron. Thank you for your continued ministry to our young people. Aaron is jumping right into a Taco Tuesday with our teens. Make sure you get your tickets, help support the young church on their efforts to raise money for their summer mission trips. Tickets are just $5. That gets you two tacos, rice, beans, drink, and a dessert. Nachos and additional tacos are available for just a dollar. It is a great deal for a great cause. Hello. Hi, we're Transfiguration Girl Scout Troop 29 Ten, and we'd just like to let you know that the cookie sales have started. So be sure to check out the Plaza and Bishop Hall on the weekends of February 16th, February 23rd, and March 2nd for our cookies. Thank, Thank you, you for, for your support. support. Once again, this upcoming Lent, Transfiguration will be supporting the Hope Center and their efforts to help crisis pregnancies. Let's take a look at the work they do. I started coming to the Hope Center when I was pregnant of my second child. The Hope Center serves women and men facing unplanned pregnancy, untimely pregnancy. While we are a medical clinic, we specialize in pregnancy diagnosis and decision support. So those who are wrestling with life issues, are wrestling with marriage issues, are wrestling with parenting issues, um, 
Those are who we serve. They teach me how to take care of my daughter, how to um, be a good parent. And I was so happy because they helped me a lot. And it was really a blessing in my life and in my marriage. There's more than just pregnancy counseling. Um, part of what we really are pleased that the Lord has allowed us to do is to continue our services beyond that pregnancy diagnosis and the initial decision, parenting, adoption, to extend to the child's second year of life. I was an example for, for my children. I was a better, better parent. And now I get the chance to uh, volunteer. Our goal is for them to embrace what God has for them and step into the life He has. And we know by Jesus' example, that's a life of servanthood. And so seeing someone get strong enough to be able to come back and want to serve others. I mean, Marie even said, where God wants me, that's where I want to be. So that's, that's like the ultimate to have it happen. I, I'm giving back a little bit what they, the Hope Center and the Baby Store gave me. For people to realize that their little baby bottle doesn't seem that significant to them, but coupled with others and with this heart all revolving around the mission going forward, it is a big deal. In addition, we've been really well embraced by Transfiguration in the way of volunteers. On any given day, there may be a volunteer here. The thing that I wouldn't want someone to miss if they don't happen to be with us on the Sunday of kickoff is our gratitude. And beyond that, I guess, just if God tenders your heart to be a part of this in any way, whether it's the bottle, whether it's volunteering, whether it's in prayer, we know that that's where a lot of battles are won over this ministry, is in prayer. And so we would just um, ask you to partner with us in that way. Well, that's it for another edition of Transfiguration today. But before you go, would you please share this video with your friends, Facebook, Twitter, and invite them to The Awakening. I'm Dan Blankowski. We'll see you at The Awakening, and again, right here on February 1st. Have a great day, everybody.